All right, so I want to discuss custom conversions. Custom conversions is something that's extremely important. If you want to measure anything specific on your website, you're going to need some custom conversion set up. Now, you also might be able to get away with going ahead and just measuring standard events. So if you have purchase, add to cart, initiate checkout, some of those might already be pre-populated and working correctly on your website. However, uh, there are things such as, take a look at this. This is a free download that I have. And if someone signs up on my website, well, how do I measure the number of people that saw an ad and then signed up here? So clicked on, give me that tutorial. Take a look how this just redirected to this adsoncork.com slash pages slash you're in. This is a perfect example of someone was on my regular website. And again, what ended up happening is they signed up through my pop-up here and then they were directed. Yep. So here's that pop-up. And then again, what I want to do is measure when someone clicks on, give me that tutorial. Now my, my Facebook pixel, it's not going to pick up as, Hey, Jenny, this is someone who signed up for your tutorial. They might say that, you know, they could pick up that someone took an action on my page, but this is a very specific custom thing, right? Like I made this for my website specifically. So all that I did is I had this button redirect to what I'm calling a thank you page. And on this thank you page is, uh, it's just letting them know that I have a quick start guide. If they want to take a peek, here's a little bit of information about what that quick start guide is. Uh, regardless, what I want to show you is that I'm sure you noticed when someone saw this pop-up form, they clicked on give me that tutorial. What I did is I set it up so that it redirected to a special, I'm just calling this my thank you page. So it's adsoncork.com slash pages slash your in. So what I'm going to do is tell Facebook, hey, every time someone hits this URL that has slash you are in, I'm counting this as someone who's opted into my email list through this free guide that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how we set up a custom conversion for this. Because again, Facebook isn't going to pick up on this. That They'd pick up on certain things on my website, like they would pick up on people heading, heading to my shop and purchasing my quick start guide. They would know that someone clicked on add to cart you can see my pixel firing here for add to cart. When someone heads to the next page, it should fire as an initiated checkout. Oh, they probably, they've got to enter in their, their contact info. But anyway, then it's going to move to initiated checkout. Uh, but again, it's these custom events that sometimes are the most important to us. Let's say someone's signing up for a webinar of yours. You're going to want to know that they signed up for that webinar and Facebook might not be picking up on that event coming through here. It might just say that you had a page view or you had a button click. So what I'm going to do is show you how it is that we set up that custom conversion. So inside of Events Manager, what I'm going to have you do, well, first head to business.facebook.com and then I want you to click on the little hamburger drop down, find Events Manager. And over here on the left hand side is where it's going to say custom conversions. Now, if your screen looks a little bit different than mine, fear not, Facebook changes all the time. So your screen very well may look different than mine. What I want you to do is to head to your business settings and to do your best to maneuver on down to uh, some sort of either events manager or yours might even just say custom conversions. It's the circle with the star around it. Whoop. Okay. So I click on custom conversions and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say create custom conversion. Make sure also that your proper uh, account is selected here as you might have a few. Create custom conversion. I'm going to do add some court. Name your conversion. So this is where I would say uh, email sign up or I could say, you know, free download slash email sign up because people downloaded my free download and they are now on my email list. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that my data source is here, adds on Quirk Pixel. When the URL traffic contains, you're in. Remember, I grabbed that from here. So I'm telling Facebook that every time the URL contains you're in, that's what I'm counting as a free download. And I will be able to use this event as an event in the future for my for my Facebook ad campaign. So if I ever wanted to run ads to grow my email list, what I could do is I could tell Facebook, hey, I want to optimize this campaign to make sure that people are performing this action. So they're making it through to this thank you page. Facebook's very smart in that way that 
if I'm trying to get people to sign up for my email list, I need to tell them exactly what that conversion looks like. Otherwise, Facebook would just send traffic and it might be lower intent people and it'll have a much, much, much lower conversion rate than if I had programmed it, whoops, than if I had programmed it to say that we're looking for people to make it to this slash pages slash your in thank you page. So anyway, all I have to do is click create. And now it's prompting me with a couple different directions. It says to make sure I go to my business manager and assign this to my actual business ad account and then make sure that I have it in my web configurations as well. Facebook actually directs you right to where you need to go. What it's doing is just making sure they want me to make sure that it's connected to my ad account. Great, so it says now I've been connected to my ad account. And then the second step here is it says in events manager go to your domains web configuration and add this as a custom conversion so again it'll pop you right to where you need to be and then what you would do is you would find your actual url here um mine isn't here because for a couple different reasons but anyway what you'd end up doing here is just going ahead and assigning it yeah you would go ahead and you would assign it for example you would say manage events edit and then you'd be able to go ahead and add that event. And then you would go ahead and you'd, you'd type in the name of your event. It'd be under your custom conversions. And then it would be right here. You'd go ahead, select, select it, and click apply. And again, this last step that I ended up doing here, I'm not going to save it because uh, this is for a different client account. But uh, the reason that they have us do this is Facebook now only allows us to have eight total events. And so by doing this, what we're able to do is say, hey, this is one of the eight important events to me. So it's, it's crucial. If you don't put in that last step, it's actually not going to perform and your ads aren't going to do well.